It's the Locked On Podcast Network, your team every day. Hey, if you remember a while back, Tristan Thompson was asked, uh, I forget what the question exactly was, but he gave an answer that basically said, you know, the regular season is horse shit. Direct quote. And so he hasn't had an opportunity to speak to the media since. He had an opportunity after this game. And so I asked him about that quote. Hey, Tristan. Um, earlier this season, you were kind of dismissive about the value of regular season games. Um, how do you feel about where the position, where the team is positioned now, um, considering uh, the play-in tournament and all of that? Yeah, um, of course, uh, this season has been a uh... – like Coach Steve would say, it's a bunch of curveballs. Um, injury bug has definitely hit us, and uh, it's hit us hard. So, uh, you know, when I made that quote, I was referring to a full, healthy team. But um, at the end of the day, uh, it's got to be next man up mentality. Of course, you know, we're missing a big part of our team, which is Jalen. And obviously, with Kemba not playing and not smart or Rob, um, you know, it's definitely tough out there. But still, there's no excuse for us not to come out and compete for 48 minutes. So. Uh, with that playing coming, uh, hopefully we can get some more guys back in the lineup and uh, use these next two games against uh, Minnesota and a hard playing uh, Knicks team to get us ready for uh, that playing situation. I get what he's saying, but here's the problem with what he's saying. You don't get to pick and choose this sentiment of, hey, the regular season doesn't really matter so long as you stay healthy. Because you know what? Teams don't stay healthy. They don't. They don't stay healthy. There's always going to be an injury. No team finishes with its players feeling 100%. They tell us that every day. No one finishes at 100%. Someone's always banged up. And so he can try the cop out of, hey, I was talking about it for a fully healthy. No. You know what? I'm not buying it. I'm not buying it. Because he sat there at a time where the Celtics have not been 100% healthy at all. And this is why I wish... We could have been in person because Zoom calls, you only really get one pass at asking a question. But when he answered that question, the Celtics were still hurt. They they still didn't have Kemba on back-to-backs. They still had, at that point, they were dealing with COVID issues. They were still dealing with Marcus Smart coming back off of a calf. Like they, They still had a lot of injury issues. And he could have said, like, yeah, as long as we're healthy, blah, 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 blah. But the team has been hurt all season long. Hell, Tristan, you were hurt to start the season. And then this was his first interview after getting COVID. So the Celtics, especially this season, especially now, especially in 2021, were hurt. This entire season is about teams being hurt and players being hurt. And so I have a theory. And I want to be careful about expressing this theory because I don't want to make it seem like I'm absolving this team of its responsibilities. But two of the past three seasons have been disappointments. And... In one of those seasons, a lot of these players were the same players. What is the common thread in those other two seasons? Who was different? You had Kyrie from that championship Cavs team. And now you have Tristan Thompson from that championship Cavs team. And I just find it odd that one player from that team and another player from that team are on 
two of the most disappointing teams that we've seen, not, not even, the most disappointing teams, the two most disappointing teams of the Brad Stevens era. And both of those guys came in here feeling like, as long as we're ready for the playoffs, we'll be fine. Regular season doesn't matter. And here's my theory, that these two guys played with LeBron James. And LeBron James, that was post-Miami, Heatles, all of that stuff. Older LeBron, saving himself. On a team where LeBron said, hey, as long as we're getting ready for the playoffs, regular season doesn't really matter. As long as we're healthy for the playoffs. As long as we're good for the playoffs. LeBron said that. You know what? LeBron can say that because he's freaking LeBron James. And what this team doesn't have is LeBron James. But yet Kyrie came onto this team and Tristan Thompson came onto this team carrying that Cavs championship aura of, hey, man, as long as we're good for the, the, the postseason, the regular season doesn't really matter so much. And what have we seen in both of those seasons? A regular season that didn't seem to matter to either team. Kyrie was a leader on one. Tristan Thompson was a leader on the other. They brought to Tristan Thompson in to be a veteran presence on this team. He's the OG. He's the guy with a ring. And I just find it funny that Thompson and Kyrie both come from that particular team and they come in and impart a very similar message and we've had very similar seasons. Now, I am willing to throw in the caveat, the counterpoint, that this season has been so screwed up because of COVID and the short turnaround and all of this other stuff. And I am not, I am not absolving this team of its responsibilities. The guys in this team, the coach, Danny Ainge, the ownership, all everybody has their responsibilities. But I do find that common thread that the leader that the Celtics brought in from that Cavs championship team has an attitude, this, pardon the pun, cavalier attitude of, hey, regular season doesn't matter as long as you're good for the, the, the postseason. And neither time has the Celtics been good for the postseason. So I'm not buying Tristan Thompson's excuses because after that Kyrie season, I sat there in Milwaukee in front of Brad Stevens when they lost. And I asked him, hey, your teams are not known for this kind of, this kind of thing. And he praised those Milwaukee championship habits. And I know this season there's no practice time and there's, it's, it's harder to build those championship habits. But I tell you what, this Celtics team does not have those championship habits. It's kind of funny that two champions came in here and these are the two seasons that the Celtics don't have those championship habits. Again, no practice time this year to build those. But an emphasis on the regular season of doing the right things from day one, even if you treat the games like practices in November and December, even if you say to your team, look, we've got no practice time. This is our practice. November 15th against whomever. This is a practice for us. And maybe you lose that game, but you're trying to do certain things. And you, when you call timeouts, you're saying, this is what we're trying to do. And, and you treat those as practices and treat those as times to build winning cha championship habits. But if you're in the locker room and you hear from a, a guy that you brought in as your leader, as the veteran voice, as a guy with a ring that's trying to tell you, hey, this is how I got my ring. And he's saying, regular season is horseshit. 
I feel like that has a, a significant contribution to what we're seeing now. I feel like this loss to the Cavs is a little bit of full circle. That's my theory. And I think that that has some bearing. What percentage? I'm not saying it's, I'm not even saying it's above 50%. I don't know what it is, but it's enough to permeate the mindset of this team. Danny Ainge before the season made it clear that they were bringing Tristan Thompson in as a guy who was a champion on a team that was down 3-1. He emphasized that point. We're bringing this guy in because of this. He didn't say because, but he emphasized that point and made it very clear that this was part of the reason why Tristan Thompson was coming in. The Celtics had blown leads to the Miami Heat in the bubble. They had shown that they couldn't finish games, and he brought in a guy that was part of a team that came back from down 3-1 to win a championship. But the message that this guy brought in was regular season, hmm, nah, it's all right. Let's just get ready for the playoffs. It doesn't matter. Now here we are. Celtics are the seventh seed. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. But I think, <laughs> I think it's just very interesting that that's the common thread.